At the surface of it all, a velvety overcoat of cells and protein keeps us in and the rest of the world out. It is our armor, our radiator, our entree to pain and pleasure. It is the body's largest organ, our skin. Smooth and silky to the eyes and touch. A closer look presents a very different landscape. Magnified 600 times, our outermost skin is nothing but dead cells. Riddled with ridges and grooves and pocked with countless bumps and holes. Look closer still, and we find hundreds of thousands of bacteria inhabit every square inch of us. With every tick of the clock, our dead skin gets sloughed off. We shed at least 600,000 particles of skin an hour. About a pound and a half's worth each year, which accounts for as much as 80% of the dust in our houses. But there's plenty of skin to go around. If we could peel it off and lay it out flat, the average person's skin would cover some 18 square feet. Though just millimeters thick, it would weigh about six pounds. And we're constantly making more. Just wait a month or so, and you too will have a shiny new coat. Which means skin can't be all dead. Dip below the surface, and you find cells continuously dividing to replace those dead cells above. Miles of blood vessels pulse to skin's connective tissues. And let's not forget all those precious nerve endings. 45 miles worth of nerves stretch from our heads down to our toes. And many reach to our skin. Some parts more than others. If sensitivity were size dependent, we would look something like this. Our super sensitive hands, feet, tongue, and lips, each packed with touch receptors, would swell enormously. Our legs, on the other hand, would resemble a chicken's. Good thing for us, there is more to this organ than touch. Skin is also our heating and cooling system. And by helping maintain that comfy 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, it keeps us alive. Through its network of blood vessels, skin carries as much as one third of the heart's hot, freshly pumped blood. Get too hot, and these vessels can widen to release heat from our bodies. But sometimes, that's not enough. A good workout can raise the body's temperature several degrees above normal, a potentially deadly state if it weren't for skin's slick safety net, sweat. The more than two million holes across our skin can produce up to a half gallon of the liquid in an hour. The heated droplets evaporate into the air and leave the body cool. Through a special camera that images heat, not light, we can see this air conditioning system at work. The hotter the body, the deeper the red. No surprise, some of the warmest parts of our bodies, our foreheads, palms, and armpits, correlate with the greatest concentration of sweat glands. But we're more likely to encounter the opposite extreme in our morning routine. 
Exposed to a chill, tiny muscles jerk our hairs to attention, bulging the skin around them. We call them goosebumps.